Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be a collective haul, which I feel like uh, we haven't done this in ages on the channel. But in doing this, we can accomplish a couple of things. I've made some purchases and received some PR that I would like to try on. We can do that together. And my friends, I would like to update you on a lot of things that have been going on. I, I know there's a lot of things that have been going on, but specifically in this video, I wanna talk about some customer service issues that your girl has been having. As always, we will have timestamps and links in the description box below if you would like to jump around. Let me tell you a little bit about my plans today. I ordered from Stylevana this Soryahan a Boyun cream set, and I think at least some amount of you have been interested in this brand. In fact, the specific set I have had a few of you ask about. I bought the House of Her sunscreen, which a lot of you have recommended to me. I got curious about this one. This was on the Yes Style website, the In Ein Jean Mugwort Calming Toner from Alive Lab. This was Really a great price. Looks like it might be a dupe for the I'm From Mugwort Toner. We'll try this today. They also sent me some PR from Clio. And finally, one more thing. The brand Nua sent over their radio frequency device and we are gonna try that today. But I do wanna start with that. However, I need to cleanse my face. I have a uh, sleeping pack on from last night. So let's break into this Suryahan set. Uh, this is the Bishek True Rejuvenating Cleansing Foam. I'm gonna go get some water because you know I like to take my foams and mix them with water. If you're not familiar with Suryahan, this is another one of these brands that is geared for, I actually read more of a, a 50 plus age range. Mature skin probably covers that. Wow, this is still, it's still very foamy. I wanted to try this though because this is another, <laughs> <laughs> already making messes over here. Anyway, this is another one of these brands that is under uh, LG, who also does Issa Knox. And let me tell you, I was really happy with the, I am really happy with that Issa Knox cleanser that I got in my Jolsey haul. It's so gentle, it's wonderful, but apparently I bought the last of it. Apparently that's a discontinued cleanser. So now I have it in my head that maybe these brands that are designed for more mature skin are gonna make less uh, stripping cleansers because as you get a bit older, your skin does dry out more and so you're really gonna want a more gentle cleanser the older you get. But this seems pretty foamy to me. The true test will of course be when we go to rinse this off. I'm back and I'm, I'm so surprised. You saw how foamy that was, right? You saw that and yet somehow Somehow it doesn't feel very stripping at all. Let me know if any of you have more experience with those cleansers that are designed more for mature skin. Yes, partly because I'm heartbroken over that discontinued cleanser. You know, you know the feeling, right? Has this happened to all of us? You discover something great and it's discontinued. Oh, oh it hurts. <laughs> but also because I've tried so many K-Beauty cleansers and I, I just, I need something more gentle. Okay, so uh, you saw me applying the gel. One thing about this Nua device is that you do actually have to use their gel. Now listen, I'm me, I try to do things not as directed all the time just to see how things go. So the very first time I used this, I used it with the Medicube gel and you know, it didn't work. <laughs> I saw people saying you have to use Nua's gel or it's not gonna work and I just, I just didn't believe it. <laughs> but yeah, turns out you actually have to. It's also a bit unintuitive, I feel, to use this. I think this is my third time using this. So there's a switch on the side here. You can set it to one or two. It also has the off mode. The second time I ever went to use this, I forgot about the side button and I was just over here pressing this button going Great, it's not working, it's dead. <laughs> no, you actually have to do that first and then you press this button and then it blinks and that's how you know you can move it in circles on the lower portion of your face. I do like that as a radio frequency device, this one is pretty straightforward about its claims and what radio frequency can do, where you should use it. You know, the treatment area of this is the lower portion of your face and right along here, right under your 
uh, jawline. I used to be afraid of radio frequency because I think we've all heard that uh, you know things can go wrong. Things can go wrong with any kind of devices and what I had heard is that uh, because this uses heat the heat can actually melt the fat in your skin and you want fat in your skin, right? You don't, you don't want to not have any fat in your skin. That would make you look like a skeleton. You remember how everybody was going off about, what's that surgery called? There's some kind of fat removal surgery that I was seeing all over my YouTube feed. My only question is, I don't know how real it is because I feel like I lost my baby fat a lot later in life than most people. I think I was, huh. 28, <laughs> which I feel is about this age where I've seen some people claim that celebrities get this uh, facial fat surgery removal. I I've seen people say that and I'm like, I don't know, it kind of looks like they just lost baby fat later in life like I did. Maybe I'm wrong, but I cannot imagine running out and getting fat removed from your face. You, you, you want that. <laughs> I love how I lost my train of thought there. I'm not nervous about that anymore because here's the thing. These, there's always risks with everything you do, but I think we were missing a critical part of that conversation. And that was when people were reporting this, they actually weren't using home devices. They were actually going in office where you would be encountering something that is much stronger than these devices. These are made for at-home use. They are made with a greater margin of error in them compared to machines that are supposed to be used by professionals. I do feel impressed with this one so far. They did do their own research, which as a researcher myself, that means a lot to me. I'm tired of seeing devices come out with no research at all behind them. And they did give me a 15% off promo code if you are interested. As always, with a device like this, I'm gonna give you a very long-term follow-up. Again, I don't like to get devices just to try them once and never use them again. That would be very strange. I don't recommend you do that, and I don't wanna do that either. So I will certainly give you a long-term follow-up. As far as my customer service nightmares, can I actually start this video by talking about Sephora? Because I think that was my biggest surprise. I still like Sephora. It's not a, a terrible situation, but I did, I definitely did have an issue. Okay, so we recently had the July 4th sales. Did any of you purchase in that? I did, I had a couple of orders and my first order arrived with no problems at all. You even saw my samples from that order in the Suisu video that I recently posted. Yeah, no problem at all. But I placed another order. It took longer to receive that one. And when I got my box, I picked it up with too much force. <laughs> Have we all been here? Do you all know the situation where uh, like a, a jug of milk, right? You think that it's got more milk in it than it does. So you go to lift it up and you go, <laughs> You only needed a little bit of force. Yeah, that's what I did with this box. Because this order had a candle in it. It had a candle in it. That makes for a heavy box. So I had just, I mean just, had an issue with Urban Outfitters and that's actually proving to be a little bit of a bigger issue. So at this point, I get this light box, I bring it in and I go, I am pulling out my camera. I am filming an unboxing of this for Sephora because I think something is very wrong. Film my unboxing and all that is in this box, all that is in this box is my gift with purchase. In a box that was supposed to have four things, all I had was the sample of Huda's mascara. That's it. <laughs> but I had filmed this, so you know I immediately started up a chat with Sephora, right? I filmed this video. I, I'm a YouTuber, so I took it over to Final Cut and made it a smaller clip in size, but didn't edit anything out of it. Saved it in a different format, so it would be easier to send it to Sephora. So I'm chatting with them, right? And I tell them, hey, you know, I placed this order. All I got in the box was the gift with purchase. And of course I told them I have a video. I have the unboxing of this so you can see that I'm not lying. That's really important. <laughs> so I'm trying to attach this video to the Sephora chat and it won't let me. So I ask the person I'm talking to, I say, can I attach a video? I have proof of this. And he says, no, we can't accept video. I just rinsed the gel off. Do you know what we're doing next? Oh yeah, we are absolutely using this Alive Lab toner to DIY a sheet mask. These are the sheet masks that I use. They are compressed sheet masks. It's still a bit of plastic waste, but hopefully less than a full sheet mask. Let's watch the process together here. Let's 
so fun. So yeah, there was absolutely no way for me to attach my proof, my proof of this situation. The uh, customer service representative, he gave me a refund, a full refund on my order, but I still feel really flustered because, so there's absolutely no way to prove that this could be happening, and here's my problem. This is happening a lot to me lately. I don't know if it's just me, please feel free to comment if this has happened to you, but this has been happening to me a lot. So I will tell you, I reached out to Sephora on Instagram. I actually sent them a DM and attached the video that way. And somebody did reply to me. I think they were very confused as to why I was messaging after I'd received a refund. But, you know, I just, I want them to know. I want them to know this was supposed to be a full box and it wasn't. <laughs> I don't know if this means people are stealing or there's just really bad documentation at their warehouses, but something is very wrong. Oh, this has the exact same smell to it as the, uh, one thing, as the one thing Artemisia toner. It smells the same. Well, I guess that's good. I guess we're experiencing the scent of Artemisia. Nobody told me my hair was looking quite so wild in our last clips. Okay, so I let this sit on my skin for a bit. You know what's so funny? Have you seen these videos of the viral uh, bio dance mask or the Sungboon editor mask? I will also share my opinion on those very soon. <laughs> I think it's so funny that in some of these viral videos, I've seen people say things like, the mask changes color to let you know it's done to let you know it's done. <laughs> Are we anthropomorphizing sheet masks now? Really, really? it just, it dries out. <laughs> it dries out, y'all, that, that's what it is. Anyway, uh, small, small spoiler. I think those masks are fine, but I'm not, I'm not super blown away by them. I think just because I do this so often. <laughs> and every time you get deep hydration and nourishment, there is a reason I keep raving about this method. <laughs> Let's move on to these Round Lab products. I'm so excited about trying the Ampoule in particular. It's been a while since I've talked about this, but I do feel that, like my skin really likes soybean. I almost feel funny saying that because soybean is such a common ingredient in foods in the US, and in case you missed it, I do actually work in nutritional sciences, so I'm almost tired of soybeans in that sense, but I, I do actually find it very exciting in the context of skincare. And Round Lab did what I prefer to see brands do in contrast to, you know, the mugwort toner was just mugwort, which is fine, but it doesn't really promise us anything because how much of those good constituents in mugwort are in that product, we don't know. Whereas Round Lab added ceramides, of course, panthenol to this product to kind of promise that you are getting the benefits of panthenol and ceramides. I like this texture also. I was worried, since it says it's a milky uh, ampoule, I was worried it was gonna be too milky for daytime use, but you know, we're going with it anyway, so hopefully it wasn't. No, it's not. This is a great texture for dry skin types for during the day. Okay, very happy with this. And let me get back to my Sephora story. So if you're at all surprised that it seems Sephora doesn't care about actually figuring out what happened, they just refund you. Let me explain this the way YouTubers explain the algorithm, bearing in mind that we don't actually know. We have theories about how Sephora corporate determines situations like this, customer service problems. We have theories. And in my experiences, I gotta say, it feels like it's true. So it, it seems that Sephora will, or most, most Western stores, if you contact them with an issue, the first time it will be resolved. Do you understand how much it doesn't matter what the problem is? For example, I was recently on Reddit. I was on the Sephora subreddit and I saw someone talking about how they had a package stolen, but they had a ring device, right? So they had the thief on camera and they contacted Sephora and for some reason, Sephora wasn't refunding their package even though they had the thief on camera. How many of you know? How, how many of you already know? Yeah, technically, this is not Sephora's problem. Technically, it is not because the package was delivered. That's where Sephora is done. After delivery, they are done. But this is how American this is. We are so used to being able to call 
on the first issue and just having the situation resolved no matter what it is, including a thief, including something that technically Sephora should not be covering. They will cover for the first time. But it gets trickier after that first time. We don't really know how many times you can call. I do think it's probably three. We're a pretty sports-based country. I wouldn't be surprised if it's three strikes and you're out. And it may not be quote unquote fair. So let me tell you about my Urban Outfitters experience after we uh, do some moisturizer. I don't know what I want to use. I don't know if I want to use the moisturizers in this set, which let me show you these really quickly. <laughs> this is again the Soryahan Boyan Cream Set, and it actually comes with two full sizes of the Bond Cream. It's a bit confusing. It's the Boyan set, but the Bond cream. <laughs> yeah, a big size and a bigger size, all for, I think I paid about 35, about 35 for this. And I really wanted to try to get this video up soon because we just talked about Suasu on this channel, which is a ginseng based brand that is, you know, quite expensive. This is also a ginseng based brand for, I would say a little bit less, a, a little bit less money for sure. I was so worried about the smell. This actually is not that intense. Okay, so that's the Bond Cream. See, again, I was worried it was gonna be heavy. I was worried it was gonna be heavy because I saw someone on Reddit, sorry, sorry, say that it was too heavy for them for during the day. All right, let's try this Round Lab Panthenol Soybean, Soybean Panthenol. We're gonna see how this compares. Oh. Mmm, this looks like it's thicker to me. Let's go with the Soryahan today. Let's try this one. And the scoop did come in the package, by the way. Um, I'll put up some of my translations. I translated the info that Style Vana had on their website so you can see a little more about the ginseng. They say they're using the body of ginseng. I'm not entirely sure what that translates into, but the body of ginseng for a higher amino acid content, which would give you a more moisturizing product, and that's the claim behind the bone lime. Did I just say lime? Did I say lime or line? I was talking to someone the other day about how funny it is to make YouTube videos and realize that sometimes you just say not what you meant. <laughs> See, I feel like this is absolutely lovely. I am so happy with this. Granted, it will not be for people that don't want any fragrance in their products. It even has some dyes in it, but oh, that was so, did you see how elegantly that applied? I love how it feels. It feels deeply nourishing. And I gotta say it one more time in case you haven't heard me say it already. These brands are phenomenal, phenomenal at presentation. It is just, uh, mind-blowing to think that I paid about $35 for such a nice set that is meant for a more mature audience. You just, you cannot do that in the West. And we're gonna end this section with the Her Weightless Sun Fluid. By the way, this sunscreen was actually one of my freebies in my Stylevana order. In case you've missed it, I do have a discount code, but personally, I use the codes on their Instagram. I uh, have an ongoing issue with Stylevana as well currently. <laughs> I'm waiting on an order for March 27th, but this is always what I figured. This is always what I figured when I heard people have issues with Stylevana or YesStyle. I figured that it, it might be uh, just different ways that countries treat these customer service situations. I cannot blame Stylevana for what happened. It's a wild story, and once everything is figured out, I'll share it with you. But what I'm noticing that is so different is they have to get the package back before they refund me. And uh, it's that's just not how things work in the US. Again, a thief steals your package and you get a refund in the US. <laughs> the first time, the first time. Okay, let me tell you about what's going on with Urban Outfitters. So I actually talked about this on the channel. Uh, gosh, I think this had to be was this my Black Friday video? I had placed an order with Urban Outfitters. They had an amazing Black Friday sale. One of the best Black Friday sales that I had seen. Wow. <laughs> I don't think this is the new Colmar formula. I think this is Cosmax, but it seems they also have a beautiful new sunscreen filters formula. Wow. 
Now I see why you all were recommending this one. <laughs> Sorry, I keep doing the thing where I talk about the product I'm applying and then back to the stories. Sorry. <laughs> It was a chaotic video, but it's been a lot of chaos in my life, you know. In the Black Friday sales, I placed an order with Urban Outfitters. One of my orders was for the Kosas Brow Pencil, and it just was not in my package. It just was not there. And again, even with the 40% off that they did, it's, it's still expensive. So I contacted them and said, you know, I paid for this. It's on my order receipt. It's on the order packing, packing slip, but it's not in the box. So they reshipped it as is the right thing to do. And for several months after that, every package that came in, I opened up this exact same camera to start filming just in case, just in case, just like I did with Sephora, to have some kind of record of items missing from packages instead of just my word. Well, guess what happened? After months and months of doing that and everything being as it should be in my packages, what do you think happened? I got lazy and I stopped filming and I placed an order with Urban Outfitters. I had two shirts coming in, I got a package, came in, ripped it open, one, one shirt, one shirt. <laughs> Let me confess something. So the sweater that was missing was only about $5 and I thought long and hard about letting this go. I almost did, I, I almost let it go. And the reason I might have let it go is simply because I've heard horror stories. I've heard that, you know, you, you might be telling the truth, but the company might say they don't believe you and then you're banned from buying from that store. I've heard about this happening and I've spoken to a lot of people, a lot of people at this point who no longer tell companies when mistakes are made because they don't want to get banned. That's what we've hit. At least for millennials, we're the generation that is supposedly pushovers. Yeah, yeah, we might we might actually be. Example, <laughs> I had ordered a, a, a tray. I'd ordered a little tray for jewelry. And instead of a tray, I received a dog dish, a, a dog feeding dish. <laughs> and for some reason, for some reason that I, I don't quite understand, <laughs> I don't understand myself. I didn't tell the company, I just went, well, you know, they tried. I mean, a tray, a dog food dish, they're like, they're related. I don't have a dog, but they're, they're related. So, yeah, that was a moment of me being a millennial pushover. <laughs> but with this situation, I, I don't know, maybe it's everything going on. I just decided, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna contact Urban Outfitters and yes, this time was more difficult. There was a lot of back and forth over a $5 sweater that was missing. <laughs> they finally sent me a refund, but you know, it's so frustrating to feel like you're lying over something so silly. Yeah, I see why you all recommended this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Get another option. There are so many of these extremely fast to apply, no white cast at all sunscreens in K-Beauty now. Just, you have so many options. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the makeup section. As you know, I like to let my sunscreen sit for a bit. And now we're gonna move on to this Clio. This is a limited edition design of their uh, Foundwear cushion. That's a very popular one. I've actually tried it before. This is shade four, Ginger. Oh, this limited edition packaging is so cute. Yeah, yeah, this is the right shade for me. I believe the shade that I had bought before was linen and that was just a little bit too light for me, possibly because it's summer, possibly. Although I don't think my tone actually changes that much through the seasons. You know, I see people say that sunscreen doesn't completely cover us, but I don't feel like my skin tone or, or, or shade rather changes that much. Did you all buy anything in the Amazon Prime Day deals? I bought but one thing, one thing, and it is right here. It is the Angie Hot and Flashy Concealer Brush. We are definitely gonna try that next. But that's it. It's really hard for me to get too excited about the Prime Day deals because I shop Yes Style and Style Vana. If you're just getting into K-Beauty and you shopped the Prime Day deals, I, I hope you know that we're so used to those prices. If you shop Yes Style, Style Vana, Style Korean, all those retailers. I will say though, I am very excited about trying this brush. I have heard very good things about BK Beauty brushes. I've just never tried them. Can you see that this is the cat paw shape of brush? Let's try it out. I did go back to my Colfi concealer, still my favorite. Oh, this is a very soft brush. That's super nice because you see how it's not tugging at my skin. I think I wanna open the Pro Palette Peach Mate Apple. 
Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, look at that. It comes with stickers so you can customize your palette. I wish there was a mirror. I do wish there was a, a mirror included. Oh no, I'm making my own Huda palette. But I think we'll just do something pretty light with this today. I absolutely prefer to do eyeshadow first, but you know what's happened here? I haven't done eyeshadow in so long that I forgot. Just because of all the, you know, madness going on in my life. So we used Facebook Marketplace recently to give away a bunch of furniture. We just didn't want to deal with the hassle of trying to sell things or even donating. Even donating is difficult because now in 2024, if you want to donate furniture, but you don't have a truck to move it in, did you know that Goodwill charges you to come and pick it up? Very pretty though, a very pretty color. So yeah, the second you post something free on Facebook Marketplace, it works like this. You're going to make your post and then immediately after it goes live, you are just going to get 50 messages. <laughs> lots and lots of questions. You're going to have people asking, can you hold this until October of 2026? So that turns out to be a bit exhausting, but you know, so, so is everything. So is everything with dealing with a, a whole estate. It is nice. It is nice when you finally find people that will come out and get these items. It's nice to just give things away. I think people were quite surprised. They're like, this is really free. <laughs> yeah, we gave away a hot tub. What, like, what are we, what are we gonna do with it, you know? So I'm gonna keep this looking soft. I would say that is the K-Beauty makeup way. That's really pretty. And then we also have the Chiffon Blur Tint, Light Blur Effect on Lips. This is so pretty. This is uh, kind of like a matte liquid lipstick in the way that it applies but uh, it really does have a blurring effect on your lips. Can you see how that looks smoothing? That's 21 Sugary Strawberry. Really cute packaging as well. I thought we might do that one, but now I'm tempted by this shade, which is Fresh Apricot. Well, do I wanna go warm or cool? Let's do the strawberry color. This is what I originally wanted to do. Let's do it today. And this is absolutely the type of product where you've seen uh, more of the product applied to the center of the lips than all over, but I, I still like an all over lip, so that's what we're doing today. So that's our completed look with all of these Clio products. I feel so surprised by the cushion. It's a lot higher coverage than I expected, but true to the nature of all of these K-Beauty cushions, it really is thinner in the way that it feels on your skin. It kind of just flexes with your skin a lot more. I mean, there's a reason the cushions are so popular. The lipstick is doing the blurring that I expect. The eyeshadow is very soft, very soft. We do need blush. We need some blush. Let's end this whole look with this Buxom Plump Shot Collagen Peptides Plumping Blush they sent over. This is the shade Tickled Pink. I can skip bronzer, I can skip highlighter, but I just can't bring myself to skip blush. And they say this is a plumping blush. That's a... Uh, that's different, isn't it? <laughs> but you know, in the same video we talked about... Uh, uh, is it is it ever gonna come to me? Am I ever gonna remember what that's called? Buxom. Buckle fat removal. So this is plumping. This is plumping instead. I think it's a pretty blush. I don't know how much it plumps, <laughs> but it is a soft and pretty cream blush. And my friends, that's it. That's the completed look today. We did skincare, we did makeup. We talked about a lot today. As always, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But that's it for today's video. I will, of course, have everything linked in the description box below. As always, if you would like to check any of this out, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a most wonderful weekend. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy today's video, and I will. See you all next time.